an ideal diode model in applications that involve voltages much greater than the diode voltage draw which is in this range. In this case, we may neglect the diode voltage drop altogether while calculating the diode current. So the result is the ideal diode model. In this ideal diode model, Vd is zero. This model provides very quick analysis for cross estimate. Now look at this. This is an ideal diode. Now what is the IV characteristic curve of this ideal diode model? We have already studied about this relationship in our previous lectures. Here the x-axis is Vd and the y-axis is Vd. So a straight line on this y-axis is representing this ideal diode model. This is line A where Vd is equal to 0. Since this line A is on y-axis, so its slope is undefined. So this is the current voltage characteristic of an ideal diode model. Now, look at this example. If you have to determine the diode current ID and the diode voltage VD for the circuit where VDD is 5 volts and R is 1 kilo ohms. So how you are going to analyze? For suppose this is your ideal diode model. This is VDD, this is R, this is an ideal diode and this is the direction of current ID. So how you are going to start your analysis? First you will apply KVL and what will be the equation of KVL here? We'll start from this point. It will be minus VDD plus IDR plus VD is equal to 0. Now if this ideal diode is forward biased, it means VD is equal to 0 and ID is max. So now this equation will become minus VDD plus ID R equal to 0. So ID is equal to VDD upon R is equal to 5 divided by or is equal to 5 milli amperes. Now what will be the value of diode voltage VD? We know that in case of an ideal diode voltage, the value of diode voltage is 0. So this is how you are going to analyze any circuit using an ideal diode model.